Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to Modded 7 Days to Die. We are here in the middle of the night. Oh, this is loud. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Oh, I forgot to turn the weather survival off. I don't do weather survival because A, I don't fully understand it. Well, I understand it was the clothes, but I find it very annoying constantly having to have a change of clothes with me uh, when I'm going through different biomes, and especially some of the biomes are really, really close together. Close together. So anyway, um, we are going to loot the apartments now. I'm going to... Oh yeah, I have to destroy it one more level. There you go. I'm going to... Oh, that is nice. I'm going to show most of the, the loot run. I'm gonna cut a lot out and just hopefully just be able to leave in the interesting things. I'm not bringing the wrench with me because it's nearly broken. I'm picking up all these guys because they're great for firewood and glass just in case I need it at some point. Oh, that is nice. And there's no light in here. So, yeah, and also it's going to be very dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re record the things that are important. And um, then hopefully we will get the whole apartment block looted here during the night. Um, and then in the next morning, we're going to have to go out. And we're going to have to get some more corn. We have to get some earth. And then we have to gonna put some um, plants in near the window. Because I think the window will let the light in. And that way we can grow some corn indoors. See what's in the bookshelf. Ah, just an normal book. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh. This is already open. Nice. What are we going to find in there? A uh, rocket launcher with 400 ammunition. That would be really sweet. Thank you very much. I'm not asking for much. I think I deserve it. Uh, okay. There was more <laughs> more things on everything else. Oh, man. Okay, let's open this baby up. Oh, wow. A Kevlar helmet. That is pretty neat. Oh, like I like it. I like that I have this um, recipe. Cling film. So let's turn that into cling wrap. And coffee, coffee. Oh, okay, so... That's the problem now, isn't it? Because we can't scrap anything. So let's see if we can wear that. What does it take to repair? Oh, ah, yeah, I probably don't have that. Yeah, I can't repair either. So let's see who's better. Yeah, that Kevlar helmet is definitely better. Okay, so we can leave. We gotta take that all with us. And we can take this. And ah, we just need one more. Yeah, let's leave the can behind. That's fine. We have tons of cans actually in our um, chest. I have tons of cans. That sounded really weird. Okay, check out the bathroom and see if there's anything. Oh, another wrench. Nice. Oh, and another book. Okay, the TV. Uh, maybe I don't need the TV. I don't know. Let's do the cling, cling film first. I think I already have that book, but I'm going to read it again just in case. Yeah, they're gonna they're, they're gonna come in somewhere now. Ooh, nice murky water. Okay, I'm not finished yet, but <laughs> I'm just organizing everything, and I keep running into the same problem when I block when I want to block something off, and I'm thinking, damn it! And I keep crafting those wood logs, and look at this. Why don't I just read this book, and then I can craft my stupid wood frames? Holy balls! I you'd think I would think of that. Crafting a workbench. That is really lovely. So we actually now can craft a workbench. There we go. Let's do that. Actually, let's put... It. Yeah, look, I put all the animal traps down here. So let's put the crafting tables here. And... Oh, crap. Yeah, same problem. Ah, quick, access it. There we go. Excellent. So now that we have... The, oh, an outer wall. I love that. So this is pretty sweet. Anyway, what we're looking for is basic wood frames. So I don't know if... Oh, a pill case. That is... Oh, this is brilliant for... RP I love all these things for role-playing. Yeah, that you can set up your base properly. I mean, look at the, the way I've, I've organized everything. Yeah, so I put the books in here. I put all the weapons and gun parts in here. The, uh, my clothes in here. 
I put all the junk in here organized now by tools, by um, whatever, you know, and then all the furniture and everything here and the picture frames, just in case, yeah? I don't think we can use the picture frames actually in the recipe, but I don't know, I don't know the mod yet, so I keep everything, yeah? So over here we have the water and everything that should be in the fridge. Um, over here we have the tinned food and the empty containers. Here we have the cling strips, which should really be... No, they should be in a drawer, actually. Yeah, they, they, sh they should be in a drawer. They really should be. You know, when you when you look for them, you can't find them because they're not in the drawer where they're supposed to be. That's the way it is. So, purification tablets. And here's all the food with the poop. Because we can use that to grow. Now, I have to go outside in a little while and um, get some dirt. But we're going to do that together. But let's see what we can do actually in this drawer here. So, we can do the carpet. Oh, this is lovely. I love the choices we have here. This is nice. I need to craft wood frames in here. Wow. So I can't craft them here. Oh, I do. I can. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft. Let me see what the max is now. We don't need that many. We craft 25. And that should get us going. Because I keep running into the same problem. I, I keep going downstairs and... I'm trying to sort out the door, the front door, and I keep running into the same stupid problem. I already looted all here, and there was nothing exciting found. Whatever I found so far, I recorded except for the blue wrench, because funny enough, that was actually in our apartment. I forgot to loot the bathroom. So, like, things like this, I want to actually put in the stairs. I want to cut all the stairs off eventually and block them off in the little hatches how to get in. But what I mainly want this for is, like, these things here, in here. I want to be able to block these guys off. Whoops. And then what I used to do in, in very, very old Let's Plays, I used to put a door here. Yeah, but in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a... There we go. I'm just going to put... Um, I think there's a high, hidden door or something you can put here, which is pretty boss-like. So I like this as a kind of a reinforcement. This is very nice. And then just basically walk through there and then be able to close that off. But anyway, so I started looting from the bottom now because um, of these guys here. So this is what I want to completely block off. Okay, because they keep coming in from there. But I think I'm going to have to actually open this up again because I don't have another way out in the moment and then I have to go and get some dirt but I'm not going to do this right now this very minute okay so let's continue looting and if I find anything interesting I'm going to let you guys know okay let's check the bathroom okay just the standard oh nice a syringe Ooh, I wonder what a syringe is for I know it's part of a recipe let me see oh healing dart I don't know if I can well I suppose I can inject it on my Self? I suppose? I don't really know. I have a healing agent upstairs. Actually, this is really cool. Infection dart, chemical dart. Oh, I have that as well. Ooh, this is lovely. Can I make actually a syringe myself? Yeah, probably not here. Probably in the chemical bench or something that I haven't unlocked yet. Okay, let's check the last bathroom in the building. Oh, what is that? Healing dart! Sweet! That is awesome! And this is the last apartment, so let's have a quick look in the bookshelf here. And, ah, just normal book. Ordinary books. Don't get me hooked. Okay, I need the special treatment. Anyway, that is it. That was the last apartment. So, let me see. I made more of these. The plan, the way I usually defend apartment blocks, I uh, can't see with the block in my hand. Oh, I have to go up one more. The way I defend them usually is I block off this side here and I put a barrier here about this high. Yeah, but I remove all the stairs. Uh, well, I remove the stairs on this side because I want to be able to shoot right through whatever is knocking at the door. So that's usually how I do things. And I can you can hit them right on the head as well, like from there, because if you kneel down. So this is what this wall is about. And we have one missing here. So here we go. Oh, that's a very high one, actually. Okay, that goes all the way to the ceiling. Wow. Not just enough blocks. 
Let's see if we can fully upgrade that. And then we need to see if we can get onto the roof as well. I mean, we have an opening in our apartment, which is the ceiling. And that will let us uh, potentially build... Okay, we're out of wood. Excellent. And that is the place we're staying in. Down here, I have put in um, a hay bale. So that way we have a fast way of going down. And look at that, all my traps. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, what do we have? We got so much. So let me organize the loot, and then we're going to go over what we got in this, in, in this uh, run. Okay, so let's have a quick look. And what we found, book-wise, I didn't really find much more than the carpentry thing and a couple of medical books, which I already knew, so I just read them for experience, I suppose. Found loads of these light bulbs and items. We found three wrenches. We found loads of leather. This, literally, this is the leather from all the couches in the apartment block. Every apartment room looks empty like this, well, without the animal traps and without the table, but absolutely barren. Then, in total, we got over 103 paintings. I don't think there is actually a recipe for paintings. No, there isn't. And there is no recipe for anything. But this is basically firewood, okay? So these things are great for firewood. So let's bring them actually right away over here. And put them in here. Because these guys, they have 30 seconds each. That is absolutely brilliant. So let's see how much, how much these guys have. Also 30 seconds amazing so we can put this here and put these guys here and then we have look at this we have over 300 600 1200 seconds there like so that's that's very good so don't correct my maths okay I, i'm shit at maths out of my head like that <laughs> especially when i'm playing games okay we got loads of ammunition yeah so we're gonna take this ammunition with us and this and we leave the gun parts here and the gunpowder and we still have this empty and let me show you here now we got um, loads of stuff for coffee so i will be making probably 10 coffees so this is for use this fertilizer for when you grow things which we're gonna do so now we're gonna go outside we're gonna before it gets dark get some dirt we're gonna get more plant fiber and we're gonna fill up these um glass bottles in the snow or wherever i don't know i haven't figured it out yet but we're gonna fill them up so right now i need food so i'm gonna take the soup i also got some tins oh look at that pasta as well so let's get some bowls going and there we go look at that craft no not the potted plant where's the pasta where's the oh the sham can't make a bowl oh okay that's fair enough in that case, bowl of pasta is 14 fullness. Let's have a quick cook. A warm bowl, a warm bowl of pasta. And let's see what we're gonna get for that. We can actually eat that soup already, which gives us more hydration. There we go. And this one gives us 18 fullness and one wellness. Absolutely cool. Look at that. Awesome. Now we're full. So we don't need any more food so we can turn this off and we can put this back put the bowls back as well and have a quick drink i uh, just plain water is gonna do fine oh um the stack size is also increased by uh, the mod which is absolutely amazing now mind you i have i don't know why i did that okay each of those cling wrap turns into seven uh cling wrap strips so i basically should have not converted them because they only stuck to 64 i didn't know that so these seven these will be over 70 of them so i leave them here closed in the moment now the meat is wrapped is, is the meat wrapped no i'm gonna wrap it if i take it with me but i'm not so right now i'm gonna take an energy drink with me because i want to be able to run if i need to and i'm gonna put the coffee on which means we're gonna need 10 of those guys there we go so let's put the coffee on there we go and we just let that cook and go outside now get some dirt because we want to see if we can plant the corn we might actually get some more corn there you go we might get some more corn i don't know exactly how to get out yet 
Um, okay, yeah, I know I looted that, but hey ho. I don't know exactly how to get out here. I also connected one of the apartments. There was a hole in the floor there, so I just connected them. Um, I'm going to try to make an entrance and exit here. Something with ladders, possibly. Let me see a wooden ladder. We need more wood. Okay, so let's just jump over and... Let's just connect this here and here. So there we go. Okay, off we go. Now, oh, is that a bear? Shit. Th that would be my luck. Outside the apartment, right into a bear. We're gonna see if we can find more corn. Th did I already investigate? Oh, I didn't actually. I haven't been there in the town. I haven't been in most of the town either, but I want corn and I want grass. I definitely need loads of grass. So we're gonna be punching that. We're gonna be punching everything for a little while. Especially dirt. So we're gonna see if we can make a little shovel. Stone shovel, yeah. And while we're at it, we might as well get some clay, which is actually right behind us, but I want to go to the forest side. There's no corn here. Usually you get a bit lucky, and you have in the barren, you have like corn growing. If you're lucky, but it doesn't seem that way. It's very quiet. I suppose we haven't really made much noise inside. So, oh, look at that. What is that? An egg. And let's get some more wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some resources. And then we're going to go back to the apartment and going to settle for the night. Okay, we got a bit of clay. We got a bit of dirt. We only got two dirt because we have very little... Um... There we go. Um, actually, one thing I can show you, which is really, really cool. You know the way you can pick up the plants with uh, your fist? So you hit that with a fist, and you get one of those corn flowers. So say I have no cotton flower, so you can see it. Cotton flower, okay? There you go, two cotton flower. But you know the way the, it leaves the seed behind? If I use the shovel on that, actually, if I use the hand on that, it just gets destroyed. No, it doesn't. It actually picks up the seed. Excellent, because you can also do that with um, a shovel, I think. Yeah, so the shovel works as... Oh! That was more than one seed. Let me see, I have one seed of that. Oh, this is just one. So it could be potentially luck. That Can I do that with the shovel? No, with the shovel it destroys... Oh, that's two seeds with the shovel. Interesting. I like it. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that, that you can do that. Now, let me fill up the glasses in the snow. I also tried picking up the snow and placing it and filling it up. So if I take the snow, okay, it turns into a harvested snow. If I then place it and try to right click it with the, cla with the jar, it doesn't work. So you cannot do that. You can't just bring that into your house now and leave it there as a permanent water source. So you have to go outside and you can only use it on snow that hasn't been moved, which is really awesome. I like that because I would assume it melts kind of, you know. Oh, look at that, a flashlight. Awesome. Let's see if there's something in there because um, I'm on my way back now and I thought, oh yeah, let's see if we can just do a couple of random loots. There we go. This car, I don't know if I opened that one. I don't think so. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, this is such a blessing. Oh, wood so much faster. Thank you. Oh, this is great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get loads of wood and I'm going to get loads of stone. And then I'm going to level up my tools and my melee weapons uh, by another 200 during the night in the apartment block. So you don't need to watch that. So I'm just going to craft tons of them, leave them in the crate. Now people were saying like, oh, you can just throw them on the floor that you spawn. I actually, it's faster for me just to shift left click all the things like bam, 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 bam to put them into an open crate than uh, clicking on them and either clicking drop or dragging them to the screen. Like, because then I always have to drag, 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 and this is like bam, 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 bam. it's much faster. Anyway, sound effects, copyright, can't use it, sorry. So that's the end of that. Now, um, I'm gonna take a couple of stones with me as well because I want to be able to craft a lot of tools and melee weapons. Because I have a feeling when we get to the seven day horde, we're gonna die. But at least I want to be able to nearly one shot them with my melee weapons if possible. So what I might actually do is I might actually level up my... Look at this. Just scavenging the whole apartment block. We 
got 20 levels. Well, we got, we got about 12 levels, but we got up to level 20. Now, this is the only points I spent so far, but what I might spend them on is blunt damage, weapon damage, because that is exactly what this is. And I'm also going to continue using grass with that because you guys were telling me before if you keep hitting grass with that to collect grass it actually raises your blunt uh, weapon damage which is really awesome so if you have anything to destroy like grass pick it up with your melee weapon <laughs> there you go and eventually it will also level up your uh, blunt weapon damage okay so let's go there's another car here it's unusually quiet genie mac Maybe it's because I logged in again, because obviously I had to, uh, when, when I was showing the looting of the apartment, because it takes about an hour, uh, you could see, like, it means it's eight, it's 1,800 hours now. It was about, ooh, nice. So it was about 1,500 hours or 1,700 hours in game when I stopped looting, and I started in the middle of the night before. So this is how long it takes. Oh, okay, cool. Let's take the book. Let's scrap the plain shirt. Is there anything in here? Oh, look at that. A safe! Oh, I can't open that because my... Oh, I like that. I like the bullet. I don't care for that. We leave that... Actually, we can scrap that. And we can also make that into cloth fragments. That way we have space for these because I'm going to take all the arrows with me. Usually I ignore them because I can just craft them, but I don't know when we're going to get something next. So let's eat that. That's nice. Excellent stuff. Sweet. Okay, so let's open the safe. It's going to take a while because we're going to open it with our hammer. Eh, it's not going to take too long. And then we're going to go back to the apartment block and we're going to finish for tonight. This was the most antagonizing five to six minutes of my life. <laughs> they were so boring. Nothing interesting happened. Okay. Well, we might as well take them with us. I don't know why we would take them with us. But I need the dirt. I The splint. The pine seeds. I don't need the cotton seeds right now. And I, I can make goldenrod seeds from that. That was just me messing around. So I'm going to take this with me. Excellent. I drank the Red Bull that I had on me. Oh. Let's see if we already looted that car. Oh, we did. I drank the red bull I had on me already. And um, is there anything going up there? Can we get up there? See, this is the addictive part about guns. Oh, look at that. We can actually get up there. I wonder what it is up there. Please don't let it be another safe. I don't want to have another boring five minutes of my life. Oh, look at that. A bookshelf. Please let there be something interesting in. Ugh, nothing. Nada, empty, leer, vec. Oh, a scrap cable. Well, I take that. Please don't mind if I do. And another desk. Oh, look at that. A tantalizing magazine. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I know her. Yeah, she's a she's a, yeah, very strong personality. Hootie McBoop, that's her name. And let's see. Use it. Ugh, not just sure what I'm gonna... Do. Okay, just... Any, anybody underage, look away now. I don't know how you use it. Okay, what am I going to learn? Absolutely nothing. Now, I want to know if that is a bug, actually, or not. So, um, because sometimes they don't work. So, um, let me just double check that if I'm supposed to get something from it. Okay, I just used the... Uh, I wanted to see how if there's anything happening. <laughs> and actually, you might have not noticed it. I've given myself two more magazines because they don't actually do anything for you, yeah? So, I just went in and uh, gave myself two magazines. Now, look at this. Look at the top, bottom left stamina bar. You see that? Why is it decreasing? Why is it costing me stamina to use a tantalizing magazine? Oh, it's a very heavy read, yeah. It's the interesting articles. It's very, very hard to digest. Anyway, so that's what that is for. It's a nice little gimmick. I like it. Very well done. That was, that was a really nice touch from Valmod to do that. Really lovely. I'm gonna take the tree seeds with me, actually, and see if I can put them on top of the apartment blocks. So screw the feathers. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, as always, kick that like button in the balls, and I hope I see you guys in another episode.